Uh, welcome to Fenorpai. We are at the RNZAF base and we're talking, well, we're talking jobs. This 22 year old is pretty much in charge. His name's Sam Cunliffe, no, no relation, is in charge of uh, looking after that plane. We're gonna... See, I, I did construction yesterday, didn't yep. get my hands dirty at all. This piece here. <laughs> <laughs> and out the, out the cone, yeah. it acts as like a Venturi. So, you're, what people used to, well, what a lot of people think is the exhaust gas from the engine produces raw thrust. The thrust is actually converted through the turbine back up to the fan in front through the bypass. Did you get all that? Now you know how a jet engine works. So, this is Nicole. And, and Nicole, you do avionics. Yes, I'm avionics technician. What on earth is that? I'm effectively the electrician of the plane. Okay, cool. Let's talk about this plane. This is New Zealand's version of Air Force One, right? Yes. So this is this is where John Key sits? Yes. So what, talk us through the seats and the seating arrangement. So this is the VIP area. Yep. And so we have our lazy boys here. This is where, where they mingle and eat. And then behind us, we've got the sleeping lazy so boys. So they go right back. They go right back. That is so cool. Fantastic. And we're doing a flight in just a second, which I know, Ellie, you have done. All I have to do is go over a bridge. What's the rules on going under a bridge? Well, you're not supposed to. Okay. Oh, man, this is cool. Oh, I've got to dip the nose hard here. I'm going under. I'm going under, and then I'm, oh, no. And under, back, and up. I did it. That's it. Yes! If you want to stick around for 15, 20 minutes, I, I can probably find an airport. I think the coolest thing that you said to me just before, in terms of uh, doing this, uh, doing, joining the Air Force as a trade, is it's as cool as you imagine it to be. Absolutely, yeah. There's certain parts of the job that you dream of doing as a kid, and then you get one to do day it. you're out there and you're actually doing it and you realise that your dreams have actually come true, so it's great. So what I do here is I just put my thumb there and we go to the top camera and I give it a bit of a flick. And it, ah, yeah. Hey, have you ever actually dropped a bomb? Yeah, we've, um, we've dropped them for training. Um, give it a flick back if you like. Um, we drop them out for training out at Kuiper. We've got yep. an air weapons range out there, so we um, drop them out once a year just to keep our currency up. Good fun. It's all about showing the diversity of the trades in and amongst the Air Force uh, and the Navy as well. So explain this. The helicopters are Navy, but they're with the Air Force. Yeah, I've been the, um, we operate as a unit of two, so the maintainers maintain the aircraft yep. and Navy operators fly them. Okay. So when we're at Panua by here, we're the home of the Air Force. Yeah. Yep. And when we go to sea, we take the Air Force with us and they get to share what we do at sea. And what do you do, because you're, you're not a pilot, are you? No, I'm not a pilot. I'm a helicopter crewman, so I operate in the back. We run the, the winch. It's just one of those things that's something that extends you and keeps you doing something. Every day is different. <laughs>